Today we are introducing our Panasonic eSports uh, studio and in terms of cameras we are using an 8K ROI camera system that enhances the production uh, values by producing up to five separate HD feeds from a single camera. One of these feeds is a down converted wide shot and the other four individual feeds are cropped images in 1080p or 720p. So we take advantage of the uh, big uh, 8K sensor to put it into UHD crops. We're also using a UA150 on a tuning rail system from Technopoint. And the UA150 PTZ camera uh, can be used in places where it would be very difficult to have an operator. And then on top we can use positional camera data um, and synchronize it with graphic systems for VR and AR. So this whole combination is really again enhancing the production value. Next to that we are using the new UA4 our new wide-angle 4K PTZ camera and we use it to take wide-angle camera shots of the players. So we have it put on every screen to very, very close image of our gamers. Next to it we use a UC4000 camera system. It's a single sensor system and utilizing internal expansion optics in order to use two third type optics. And this feature along with low skew mode prevents any positional moiré effect that can be used when shooting onto an LED screen. So here we are uh, showing two developments that can help you to avoid this moiré effect. In addition, we use the UHS 500 compact 4K switcher, which is replacing the HS 410. And it was really a mainstay in live uh, events market. So we updated with features including 12G SDI outputs and the ability to control three independent outputs and full PTZ control from the switcher itself. In terms of driving the whole show, we are using new IT IP based video platform that really sits at the heart of our live entertainment area. It is taking all of the inputs from our cameras into the, this new platform and drives it in 4K um, to all of the 98 inch displays and the RQ50 projectors. The platform is based on a unique and groundbreaking software development that relies upon CPU and GPU processing power. It is both resolution and format independent, meaning that it can meet any requirement. And we really expect it to become yeah, a commonplace within eSports production uh, environments in the near future. It can be used as a uh, switcher, it can be used as a pixel processor, or it can even be a screen manager, uh, manager and much more. There's literally no limit to what can be done with this new uh, system.